My name is Jeffrey Kennedy and welcome to Elliott Wave Junctures. In yesterday's commentary we examined a trend line technique for classifying Elliott Waves and that was the Kennedy channeling technique. If you recall, counter trend price action tends to be contained by parallel lines. Conversely, an impulse wave subdivides clearly into three distinct price channels identified as the base channel, the acceleration channel, and the deceleration channel. Today I want to show you a different technique that I sometimes use to identify Elliott waves and make Elliott wave patterns more clear. And that is simply to add a five period moving average to a price chart, specifically a five period simple moving average. On this price chart, this is the yen. This is the same labeling that we reviewed yesterday, but on top of it we see a red line. This is a five period simple moving average of the close. Now instead of looking at the actual price swings that you would normally experience on an open high low, uh, open high low close price chart as you would in this price chart, what I'm actually doing on the next price chart, this one, the one with the five period simple moving average, is I'm utilizing uh, the moving average to actually identify the waves of the substructure of the wave patterns. Notice if we focus on the red line here, you can clearly see an up, down, up sequence. Moreover, that final move to the upside consists of one, two, three waves. That's why we actually utilized a WXY count. Now what's interesting here is if you see my labeling from yesterday, which is this labeling right here, you'll notice that I identified this as waves one, two, three, four and that we're going to push lower in wave five of three. Well, the moving average may actually disagree with me on that because if you look at this structure, you can see the down, up, down, up, down sequence, which almost argues that wave three, be uh, wave three began here and actually ended somewhere over here and that this is actually wave four. That would make sense. You see what I'm doing here is I'm actually utilizing the moving average to push back the noise on a price chart and bring forth the clarity of the wave pattern. Let's look at a few more examples. For example, here we have a price chart of McDonald's Corporation and if we simply utilize the moving averages to actually identify the substructure, you see that we have waves one, two, three, four and five. And then if we look at the subsequent counter trend move, you can almost go waves A here and then A, B, C, D, E for a triangle B and then a small little up, down, up, down, up sequence for five waves in wave C. Again, many times whenever you look at a price chart, and let me re uh, re replicate this price chart and erase everything on it actually, and even the moving average. Now let me remove that. Many times when you look at a price chart, it's what you'll see is noise. You will not see a discernible wave pattern. And an easy way to, again, to draw that wave pattern out on the price chart is to simply apply the moving average. Let's look at a few more examples. Here's a price chart of heating oil. Notice the undulations are the up-down sequence of the moving average. From the, this extreme right here, we have an up-down sequence for a 1-2. And then even within wave three, you see the, sm the, the, the five smaller subdivisions. One, two, three, four, and five for three. Then you pull back in wave four, right here, and then you see this nice move to the upside. Okay, waves one, two, three, four, and five. And even if we look at, a, say, a daily price chart of Walmart, again, you can see the undulations within the substructure just by simply up by looking at the moving average, by training your eye to focus on the moving average. And again, this is a five period simple moving average. Up, then down in three waves, down, up, down with the moving average. Then you have your wave three, then you have your fourth wave over here, which is a flat correction, followed by your fifth wave move to the upside. Again, often whenever you're examining a price chart, the wave patterns are very difficult to discern. One way to gain clarity is simply applying a simple moving average to the price chart. Now what I've seen, or shown you today has been a five period simple moving average. Could you use, say, a six or seven period exponential moving average? Absolutely. Could you use, say, a four period weighted moving average? Absolutely. What works best is what works best for you. Okay, in this instance here, I'm simply utilizing a five period simple moving average. It works, it's simple, and it's a very effective approach, again, at identifying the wave pattern on price chart and pushing back the noise. That about does it for today. Thank